welcome to Brent Plays With Himself, a Let's Play series where I find out I know nothing about games. In this episode, we continue to dive deeper into the house. I learn a little bit more about it. I find the creepiest video ever. It haunts me to this day. And I take on my first boss, and it is hard. I had a dream, that I, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Oh, shit. Oh! Dead letters! Like, letters. I thought it was like... Surely no one saw that. I thought it, it was like the alphabet. <laughs> like they were like, we don't use F anymore. It's a dead letter. And everyone was like, yeah. Fuck F. Oh, shit. <laughs> Singing fish. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Lot, says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. Can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. It's very dark. I can't see shit. To the point that I'm now debating. Oof, that desk was easy. I'm, I'm really actually debating turning up my uh, dark brightness. Undefined reading. Fantastic. Did I do good? I do real good? I do best? Oof, that really blew up. Reading material. I'm digging this. I'm digging this game. I get it. Ooh, yay! Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request to the Dead Letters Archive, cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail, which provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics around among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. 
Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to Oz and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Uh huh. Health, health. Health, health, health. I got them health happening. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Ow! Really f fucking hurt! Oh boy. Ow! Fucking cleanse this shit. And fix! Oh. Not gonna lie. It was rough. Thought I almost died there once or twice. Damn it! I want these doors! Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched... Maybe three dozen pencils. And once... We even launched a cup. Whoa! Okay. Not yet. There's a thing here. Wasn't there? Oh, cool. Ah! What the hell? What the fuck is up with that guy? Oh no! She shot me! Ah, oh, you stopped. Don't. Oh. You're a bad aim, man!
Stop throwing fucking grenades at me. All right. God, what's happening? This isn't even the way I'm supposed to be going! Fucking Christ! Seriously! Whoever has the shotgun, go away. Okay, are we done? Whoa. Well, apparently shortcuts don't do shit. Not happy about that. Oh, come on! I came through it! Bullshit. Huh! Okay. Well, that was bullshit. Uh, to whom am I concerned? I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand them. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that! I have great dead men telling me about, my, about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest. James Bartholomew. Ah, James Bart. Who that? Who you? Who did what now? What you want? I'm playing video game. Ahoy hoy. Book club. Hello, avid readers. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene in the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate <coughs> some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading! Penny Bartwell. Yours sincerely. Oh, Oh, this is the most frightening thing I've seen. Thank you. 
ever again. No more of that. Now I'm afraid those fucking dolls are going to appear out of nowhere. Hi, Jesse. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, that was fucking creepy. Oh, I hated that. I hated every minute of that. All of that was awful. Oh, no. Absolutely not. That is in my soul right now. Like, it's in me. Um. What the hell do I do about this? Can I climb? I can push in. Oh, what about this? <gasps> okay. Just if I do this properly, everything will be great! I did it! Headshot boost. Wrong button. Multimedia. Yeah, nope. Not watching that again. Hell no. Absolutely not. You can burn in the depths of hell before I do that. Jesus Christ, that was creepy. <sighs> oh, that's the current one. Okay, what's this one do? Uh, Requel, exclusive to Shatter. Don't know what that means. Uh, headshot. Oh, just increases. I don't know what I expected from that. Uh, okay. Health by 18%. Oh, that's even better. Do that one. Okay. Health recovery. Health recovery by element pickup. Energy, 16. Uh, let's deconstruct you. Which was... Probably a mistake, because it looks like I have more slot, but that's fine. Okay. Which way is your communication? Right there. Did I go in you? Yeah, I did. You're a dark room. Okay. You let down there. Up the way? Oh, no. Uh, God. These controls are really messing with me. I don't know why. Okay. So what goes up? Lady, locked door, another locked door. I figured this was the way to a secret, and I was right. I don't know what to do with materials. I presume that'll get explained to me later, which is fine. So far I did, that's blood. Well then. Well done. Fuck that place. Fuck that place? <laughs> What's in here? Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Ah, oh, book club! Book club notes for Penny! By L. Sampson. 
So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives were the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like a cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dog fight between these two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me? was when my favorite character got killed, not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel very necessary at all. Wait a second. Isn't that what happened to that guy out there? He was, like, leaving the room, and then a canister hit him in the face? Was that Samson's? What is that? Oh, cool. Projectile spread. I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay, well, that way's evil. And we'll never talk about that place. Oh, shit. An object of power. It's like the hiss of last ah! We need to close it. I truly am better than you. Okay. Now. Oh boy. Give it to me. Come on. I want the floppy drive. Give me the floppy disk. Give it to me. The floppy disk slash nuke can be bound to gain launch telekinesis. <gasps> First push! Teach us to teach us to believe. It's harder to hear. It's like that channel's been changed. The boards in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Oh. oh! 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 I love it. Oh. 
Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I want it forever. Oh, this game got awesome. This is the greatest thing in the world. Flip, flip, flip. Blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. More health, please. More health, please. I want health. You want health. Oh, I obtained the launch ability. be fun. You gotta hit the fin of the box! You dicks! Where you at, buddies? Hmm? Where you at? Do y'all remember me? I'm that person that you thought you could get rid of. You thought I was reliant on ammo. But you're wrong. I'm reliant on my fucking telekinesis ability now. Do y'all remember that? Do ya? Do y'all remember that? I got a bag here. Can you guess what the bag's gonna do? It's gonna fuck you up! I think we can all agree. <gasps> a bigger box. Y'all excited? Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. Uh, there's no doors or anything, right? Okay. Okay, good. Found the cancel button. I'll go in there next. But first... I want to make sure... You know what? I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was like, oh, I think I'm getting close to being done. Now I'm like, hey, you know what I should do? Continue playing and throw shit at things. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, there it is. Give me that. No, I'm still playing. Come check it out. Ah, you made me miss it. Damn it. Uh, oh, floppy disk. Container of video. Must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. The object is an 8-inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows 
perioditarian to telekinetically lift materials and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presented blah, blah, blah. The object is currently bound to for research purposes. Background. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in Hurt, the agents Hurt and Hurt with the CIA, the diskette contains launch codes to Hurt missiles believed to be reserved to use against Hurt. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the Bureau off. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, what's this? The Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives in dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. His demolition experts, HDE, okay, I only observed his variations to wield the specially built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track fort entities once fired, making them a threat worth whose termination should be prioritized in combat situations. But could I grab them? I find it remarkable that the HIS restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who trained specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns refer to file blank. Oh no, I want more. The HIS Rangers are Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their HIS corrupted counterparts are f highly formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons, as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His rangers also have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense Hiss residents capable of stopping bullets. Consider the advanced training of Hiss rangers are capable of applying to their situation. Is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the Hiss able to tap into their combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. Jesus, this is a lot. Uh, here we go. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You said no Alaska! Um, you all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears, desperate for food because the ecosystem is being ruined by global warming, was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to... Oh! So another, aww, buried behind us in the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring hurt and hurt for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. To mercy, out! Hang on. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. I knocked that over and gas came out. Am I going to die? It sounds like a lightsaber when I do that. Is that what it should do? <laughs> I said lightsaber, and I now realize how stupid that was. It is 100% not a lightsaber. It is the, uh... It's like the sound of, like, a ship or something. Launch efficiency. Hello? Oh. Ooh, less energy. Ah... I now see the benefit of energy. That's what I use to launch things. I see. Box with me now. Yes! Finally! Must open the door. Yes. Okay, but first, let's wander around. What do we got? We got stuff. We got stuff and things. 
Hey! Oh, don't be sorry. You didn't, you didn't want to have this, the game spoiled, so I get it. Oh, boy. Hmm. Where's my box? Yeah. That's a bad door. That's a weird... Um, I think that might be a bad room. That might be a bad room. What's through here? No, thank you. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, yeah, that goes back to dead letters, and then I'd probably have to fucking wander around again. Right? I don't know. More of that. So then what's through here? Oh. Mm. We're shooting this shit with some roomy. Bad room! Yeah. 100%. It's a bad room. I'm gonna go in this bad room, though. Ugh. Pay attention, Alberto! This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial override in maintenance once the director is satisfied with the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slapped together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, and B, a high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. This process is not the same as a directorial, directorial override, so stop saying so in documentation. I know it's confusing as hell, I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works. Okay? Marshall. Thanks, Marshall. If you said it any better, I'd almost think you were a professional. I mean, this is a bad room. This is just a bat. Is it gonna hurt? It's gonna hurt. Uh, no? Ah, it hurts! It hurts so bad! Ah! Okay. I'm worried this door is gonna lock on me. Bathroom! Bathroom! Can they come through doors? They can't come through doors, right? I'm gonna say no. So we are going here. More stuff. What's this? <gasps> Another clearance level one badge. If I put them together, do I get clearance level two? Just saying. Yeah, I'm coming. Hold your horses. Open this door. Freeze! Jesse Funke. Hey! Shit. Fuck off! I'm beginning to think that they can go through doors. Oh, come on. Open up. Held a message for reason, identity. Allow, we'll post it to chat. What? Auto mod? The hell is that? These guys are just hanging. Why did that not allow you? Auto mod went off. It was like, no. Yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. It was like hanging around. How dare you? It's my favorite song. It's called Static. Okay. I'm coming. This is my control point. Proceed through the communications department. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, where'd my box go? Son of a bitch. Deed. Come here, chair. Uh. Oh shit! Oh boy! Ow! Behind? What the hell? Static sounds like a good band name. I almost guarantee you Static is a, is a band name already. Already is. Already is. It already is. It is a boss fight. I'm very confused by it already. So if I throw things... He dodges it. Okay. Can I change my... Nope. Okay. Let's try this again. So why is he special? Okay. They can fly now. Jesus! Oh boy. Where is he? Yeah. Health, 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 health. Ow! Jesus. Tamusi! Do me a favor, buddy. Die! Do me a lot of good. Tamusi, buddy? Ow! Fuck. Thank you! Oh, I'm so fucked. Any chance I can heal? 
Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Competent. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. We will see you all next time. Have a good evening.